didn't see you there. Welcome to Unsolved Mysteries Solved by Science, where I take the world's deepest, darkest unsolved mysteries and solve them with science. This is my research library where I work around the clock to fix the world's most intricate complexities and sometimes invite a gentleman caller or two. Today we are taking a look at one of the world's creepiest, eeriest mysteries, the Greys. We saw them in the 90s as fun flare pins and on the History Channel after Bigfoot hunters. But the fact remains that nearly 40% of all alien encounters report depictions of these Greys. And people who have experienced alien abductions come from all walks of life. So why are these depictions so similar across the board? Is it something to do with our psyche? Or could it be because they are truly among us? Hold on to your bedpans as I solve for you the mystery of the Greys. The first mention of otherworldly beings fitting the description of the Greys, small body, large eyes, big head, comes from an article written by the famous author H.G. Wells called Man of the Year Million in 1893. Wells also used similar descriptions for his later works in War of the Worlds in 1898 for the Martians that land in their giant spaceships. Or, if you're going by the Tom Cruise version, giant iPod holders. Their mention in pop culture was spotty until almost 50 years later, when the Greys started appearing not in fiction, but in real life. The first documented alien abduction was the Antonio Viles Boas case in 1957. He described a tall humanoid dressed in gray, taking him back to their spacecraft. Then they did some gross stuff with some weird stuff, and Antonio stuck with that story his entire life, never denying that incident even on his deathbed. And only a couple years later, we have the most famous alien abduction case in history, Betty and Barney Hill. In 1961, Betty and Barney Hill, a couple from New Hampshire, reported experiencing an alien abduction that is the first to mimic how we think of them today. Beamed up by a light, operated on by extraterrestrials that were gray with large eyes and heads. And since then, thousands of cases have been documented and recorded throughout history, reaching almost every background, race, religion, and location. And it isn't just all in their heads. Scientific studies have proven that those who claim to have been abducted have the same same symptoms as those suffering from PTSD and related trauma. In almost all cases, feature gray aliens. So is there a scientific explanation for why we've chosen the greys to represent all alien kind? And how are so many people having a shared experience of alien abductions by them? Let's take a look at possibility number one. What if the greys are real? Huh? What if they are truly our closest extraterrestrial cousins floating around in this nebulous galaxy? While it is entirely plausible that there is life on other planets, the idea that they would look and act like these greys is almost impossible. With a different planet and a different environment, the chance that they would have similar symmetrical features to humans when our own planet has a vast array of life is almost too good to be true. Alien experts agree that while undoubtedly life forms exist outside Earth, they most likely do not have limbs like ours and statures like ours. So if not from outer space, where do these greys come from? One theory is that gray aliens are a manifestation of what humans perceive as higher intelligence. Their bodies exaggerate all the characteristics we associate with intellect, a big head for a big brain, large eyes for increased perception, and it decreases the body parts that don't directly affect intelligence. Shorter limbs, smaller arms and legs, they say it's our minds personifying higher than human intelligence. But the second explanation has become a favorite among the scientific community, and that is gray aliens are a essentially how we see adults around us when we're newborns. Our color sensors are not fully developed, so our world has a slightly gray view. The adults around us are always leaning over us, so in comparison, their heads seem large and oversized. That's why so many people across the globe have reported seeing this specific type of alien. They are parts of our residual memory that we all carry. <laughs> but the newest emerging theory? A few years ago, scientists found a connection between the phenomenon of accidental awareness, or waking up while under anesthesia, and alien abduction cases. Not only do the two have similar visual experiences, being operated under a light, people moving around you in white coats, but they also share the same physical phenomena of not being able to move and paralyzed as people work on you. Sleep paralysis is a similar type of anesthetic, so the similar experience may trigger an abduction episode. In fact, the most famous abduction case, Barney Hill, a few years before this event, he had a 
colonoscopy. His descriptions and the many descriptions of these encounters describe the Greys as doctors who operated on him. And while some people who awake during surgery remember vividly, many do suppress that memory and don't recall until years later, if ever at all. So instead, it manifests itself as an alien abduction. That is the Greys solved by science. Or is it? We live in a small, small world surrounded by shrouds of the unknown. We peel back a layer only to find several more in its unwinding spindle of doubt. Maybe we are not alone. And join us next time for another episode of Unsolved Mysteries, solved by- Oh, Jesus! All right, can we stop doing that? Can we stop? That was enough. It's not funny anymore. It just scares me. <laughs> Thank you for watching this short documentary. Please click the big C to subscribe and the bell to get notifications for when we have new videos. You can also look at the new videos to the left and the right of me. Till next time.